Okay, let's go to the anomaly now and see what that is like. Um, where's my plane? I just... There's the radium pillar. So whenever you see radium pillars, uh, there's a decent chance it's people's first time to the anomaly. Okay, so uh, we will take these steps up here, this platform, this um, angle up. I'm not going to speak to everybody here. I'm going to speak to who um, we need to speak to, which is in here. You go to Nada. Nada says, I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes? Polo's own design, a perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond vengeful Corvax. Nada watches time come and go. So I'm on the Artemis line, and so I'm going to ask about Artemis first, because I want to continue the Artemis line. He says, a traveler entity. Perhaps they are known to you. I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us, highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. The Corvax watches me. There is a patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. All right, I'll ask about Nada then. Nada awoke with the death of Corvax Prime could not understand why such things happen, why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The convergence do not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo, friend. Now many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada, happy. Nada's carapace pulses with a gentle light. There is something familiar about them. Ask about Polo. Polo friend found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals. Makes others safe. This station has been calling to me since I woke up on the planet. Perhaps it called to Artemis as well. Ask about this space station. Nada says, beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free. Free like Nada, to observe, to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas... They do not care for this place. I feel, I feel their eyes hunting us. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. Leave. Speak with Polo, friend traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Okay. Polo has the purple thing above his head. So we need to speak to him. Notice in the low right hand side, it says speak to specialist Polo. Specialist Polo says, friends everywhere. If only you know where to look. 
friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Artemis friend, you are where they should be. Does not seem possible, but all things are possible. Such is the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. Ask how. Polo says, our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. Okay. So the Space Anomaly is a hub for travelers, a nexus that unites them wherever they are in the universe. Use not on Polo's home to meet other travelers, undertake missions, earn nanites, or upgrade your equipment. So we speak to other travelers to earn nanites, learn new technology blueprints, browse a huge array of base parts, and speak to Nada about Artemis. Okay, let's see. Then I go out and I turn to the right, go through the sliding doors, and if I angle to the right a little bit, there is Iteration Helios. Ah, young one, you who still roam the boundaries of this universe, how I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. I yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. I give data planets. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. Okay, that's 120 nanites. Now I'm going to go over to... Iteration airs. Since we're over here. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. I will help. And exchange. Progress for progress. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials. Both valid today and I'll transmit milestone data. Ares says, you have seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please take this. And you notice we get a whopping 500 nanites. That's a good number of nanites. Now, if you flip around and go back up the steps, it says on the quest thing to visit technology researcher, such as Nailene, I go to the right. Oh, let's get a backpack. They're sending me over near where we need the backpack expansion slot. So there's Celine. Next to Celine, the exosuit researcher, is an exosuit upgrade. You can get this upgrade in every solar system. So summon the anomaly in every solar system. And if you want more slots, take it. Now let's talk to Celine. Traveler new, your suit is an extension of yourself. Let me aid you. All right, I research exosuit upgrades. 
Nice, but I'm actually, I'm not going to take any of them. Okay, anything else we need to do here? Uh, browse, browse a huge array of base parts. Okay, that would be in the construction research station here. The prefabs are pretty cool. I like them. You all did a good job with that. Now, go back and speak to Nada at the end here. About Artemis. So we're going to return to Nada. Eat. Nada and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. So I'll ask Nada what to do. Nada says, Traveler entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis entity. Explore with others. Travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, traveler entity. We will aid you. Others will aid you also. Even if you seek the Crimson Liar. I'm going to ask for help with Artemis because I want to prioritize the Artemis line. Of course, Nada has a small gift for you. Perhaps it will help, perhaps not. Nada and Polo friend will continue to search. Speak to us whenever you desire. I received 120 nanites. Notice uh, my objective was updated. Search for Artemis. Return to the stars. You should know that you can come back to the anomaly anytime. If you go up there... Actually, why don't we do that? Up, if you go up, there is a um, portal. Interstellar Terminus. So if I click Space Stations, I can just blip to the current space station if I want. Uh, just like like that. Warp to Shigawa Orbital. So you can go to the anomaly in any solar system you're in by hitting X and using the arrows to go to the sphere and then click F and it will appear in outer space and you'll enter it the way I entered. Okay, so the mission alone admits to st the stars is return to space, search for clues about Artemis among the stars. So we take off. Shift key to get away from that. You see the anomaly is there as well. And uh, there the communicator. We press X, F to select it. And there would be Artemis on the screen now. Where is there anyone out there? It's outside. It something's wrong with 
Um, and I say, identify yourself. I tell the stranger that I can hear them. There is a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You, you found me. There is so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? I tell him I found a crashed ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. And I don't mention that I sold his ship either for scrap. <laughs> Artemis says it's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like gzz. Um, I'll ask about the 16. Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know where you are, do you? You... It lied to me. It lied to all of... The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on, silent before it too fades into nothingness and communication. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. Okay, so I'm going to hit escape. Go back up to Alone Amidst the Stars. It says to reestablish contact with Artemis, first locate a long distance transmitter. Holographic communication towers can be found on many planets. Such a device might be powerful enough to establish a stable connection. So I use C to scan. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to point myself toward my base. E to tag, space bar to go there. And I'm going to scan near my base. Because I would rather the scanner point out a location on the planet I'm on than one with sentinels that will be attacking me while I'm trying to do my stuff. The scanner tends to pick up something that's relatively close. I'm skipping the object of in interest. Okay, now let's hit C. All right, X, F for the incoming message. Friend, the communicator image sputters, the signal weakening rapidly. Attendant Pessini's ship appears to be in urgent need of repair. It may not last another warp. I offer to repair one dihydrogen jelly. The life form's eyes widen with gratitude. They give me what they can spare before departing to repair their ship. My standing increased with the gap. All right, let's begin heading over to the hollow terminus. Ship 
shift key to move a little quicker. Where are you at, buddy? Use the left mouse key to fire. Shift key, keep moving. I'm using the W to move a little slower and target the mouse key to fire. Come on. Using the movement, the movement keys. W to go towards those tubes. We got chromatic metal. One more left. Shift key to move a little quickly. Now the arrow's on our right. I'm healed. I hit D to turn around quickly. And I face towards him. And I'm firing. W to follow him up. And the mouse key. Just keep on firing at him. Aim, but don't overuse it. All right, shift key to go a little quick. Gotcha. And W to go towards the tubes. Shift key. Okay, more chromatic metal. And I believe our standing with the Gek should improve fighting those guys. See, new Gek rank. And now we space bar and warp. Hold on. Actually, I'm almost out. Add a tritium. So we're going to shoot. Um, we shoot asteroids, you see, until we'll, we get a good amount of tritium. I use the W key to move a little bit. I don't, I'm not looking for silver. I'm looking for tritium. I don't mind getting some gold. We could, but we'll sell the silver if we need to. All right, tab, how much tritium do we have? 120. Uh, 120 tritium's probably enough. Let's continue. Let's continue what we're doing here. Where is the red and white symbol? All right, back to the space bar. always try and keep like at least a little extra tritium for when I run out. Now a hollow terminus is pretty clear. So if it gives you an approximate location Definitely fly around for that because it sticks way out of the ground. Uh, use the sh left shift key to go a little quicker. All right, I let go of that. Now I'm going to begin to look around. Now, where is that building? This also lets me scout out the area a little bit. There it is. You see it on the left there? See, I told you it sticks out of the ground. So that is what we need, the hollow. That would be where the long distance transmitter is. So when I get to the green, I hit E. Now I hit the escape key and look at the discoveries and the sentinels require obedience. That's not too bad, I don't think. While we're here, let's, uh, let's hustle up to the top.
Go to the steps. The W key is up. S is down. Use the mouse. Use the W key to climb. To the right. Go up the next one. Hustle to the terminus. E. It wants... Any heat energy wasted during the mini... All right. I'm going to use sodium nitrate to charge it. You could use just sodium. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to reestablish the connection to Artemis. So I tune to Artemis's frequency. I try to locate Artemis's frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. Signal match is detected and Artemis appears. I speak to his projection. Hooks, who's there, you? It's you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You are in a dream. I say I am real. I'm sorry, it's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Well, I ask who they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? I ask how he knows. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star, and a fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within. The whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see this stranger's first breath, yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness, I hear it said, Anomaly Detected Designation Traveler Awaken What I showed you just now, Artemis says, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it, too. We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you open your eyes, you must have known you are not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to, to finally meet it cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from the crashed ship? Upload data. I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crashed vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me. But this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across this system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll be able to find my way out, and you'll get all the answers you seek. 
I agree with the plan. Thank you, Traveler. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. I hit Z. I put the... Okay, now I hit Z. Signal booster requires metal planing and carbon nanotubes also, in addition to that other item. So I make metal plating, carbon nanotubes, hit Z, signal booster, tab, hit my has protection, put sodium on there, E to use the signal booster, outpost signal online, navigation subroutines online, uh, exosuit upgrade unit detection online. Please select task and I click triangulate position. All right, 33% done. Mid, middle, middle mouse bar to pick it up. S to go down the ladder. We're heading out. We, our job is accomplished. We will need to repeat that on two other planets. You, we will once we get the signal boosted, the signal sent for tri triangulation. We will pick up the signal booster again. I don't know how many signal boosters I've left laying around on planets at this point. And by the way, uh, those two buildings here, uh, we might as well go in them. And also the, uh, the save... Um, and chart. We get a navigation data for that. See one navigation data. Search these little red containers. Condensed carbon, you need it for things like a hermetic seal. Uh, looks like there's buried technology here. Uh, G, terrain manipulator. E to grab that. And we head inside the building. While our label levels stabilize, we extract nanites. Then let's run, uh, let's run next, oh, let's grab some carbon out of the plant. We run next door. And in the next building, I don't see anything, but while they stabilize, go to discoveries. I'll use F to upload the save point for three nanites. So we've been here before I see I've discovered uh, animals. Okay, and let's head back to the ship. Well, I can climb under here for a second. Damaged machinery. I take rusted metal usually, but I don't take the other stuff. For example, oh, life support module. All right, let's climb in the ship and put that on without walking into the hole, okay? Notice there's a red and white symbol. So we already know we have our next location. Let's see what we got here out of that.
life support. So I'll move this. The silicate powder can go to the terrain manipulator. Now the life support module, put it next to the life support and hit E. Place it back down. And it gives me plus 50% to my life support tanks and plus 25% solar panel power. Click life support, throw the dioxide on there. And our situation is improved. I'm not going yet. I hit C to scan the area. H91 units, H101. I head for the 91 unit. While I'm running, I click G. Click G again to switch to the mining beam. Uh, that moment when I wished I had the full size laser. Okay, that didn't work out very well. I guess I'll grab a little bit of carbon. A little bit of ferrite and uranium. Remember, uranium can be used as launch fuel. So I know I'm going to need launch fuel. Okay, where is the airplane? Grab a little more. And for the stars, we will go. Go into the next place to triangulate. Shift key to go quickly. while uh, our hazardous material protection goes up. Space bar to warp. I pause, I wanna scan this. C to scan. Okay. And space bar, warp again. Now, this is going to bring you to some site to send your signal. You see the building there? S to slow down. You see that the rings are blue? S to slow down. Use the A and D keys to straighten yourself out. W to go a little quicker. It's green. Hit E. And it will land you. I hit escape and discoveries. It's not showing this yet. So I go E. And then I do E again to go back in. Tab to skip, tab to skip, E to go back in. Now, escape, discoveries. Are we on a planet? 
it looks like sentinels require obedience here. Heated atmosphere, salt, phosphorus, copper, selenium. Yeah, I think that tear upside down teardrop is where we are. Okay, so the sentinels do not appear too bad. See what kind of building this is? Do you see where the entrance is for this? I'm using the D key so I can look sideways. Ah, uh, here. We can grab an ammo can, right? Some sodium. We need Atlas Passes. Let's try Z. Put the signal booster down. Click E. Okay, it's online. Outpost signal, navigation, and exosuit. Please select navigational task, triangulate position. And we are two thirds done. Now, use the middle mouse wheel to pick that up. Let's talk to this guy. The air around the beak life form smells foul. It seeps into my exosuit and makes me gag. Noticing my expression, the traitor pecks at an element they carry. They break the substance into pieces, then swallow each hole. Friend, Gek traitor, Gek. There is a deep gurgle, and the Gek emits a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes their empty hands and beams at me with pleasure. I'll thank with metal, 15 ferrite dust. The overjoyed trader pecks happily at my gift. They release a dazzling rainbow of perfume, overwhelming my senses. And my geck standing just increased by one. Now... We're, let's not leave here yet. Let's look at this. Um, the Gek Observatory nav uh, thing and click E on it. The life form that works or worked in this installation left its equipment scanning the skies for interesting new symptom systems and spatial phenomena. In its absence, it struck gold. A, beak, a beacon has been received, and a transmission sequence awaits response. One, two, one, two. Two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two. So we input two, one, two, one. I discover a location within the distant stars. Okay, I hit the F key. Ancient ruin, I hold E to tag it. Okay. 
Okay. Did we mark this area? You can always use more carbon. Oh, let's scan that. That looks like a giant bug. Okay, save and chart. And we got a microprocessor. Rusted metal can be processed into ferrite. A geck relic, that's probably worth a bit. We'll always take a little more carbon. Did we go in these buildings here yet? Let's see. Stock transfer, 953 credits. Nice. All right, let's go. Go to the next container. We can upload that. Okay. If you look, it's giving a suitable site, so we'll try that out. We kept the signal booster, right? Yep, we picked it back up. We have two slots left. And in the starship, we have two slots left. 120 tritium. If I hit W, you see that probably uses up our launch fuel. I hit A to straighten out and D, then uh, either the W or the shift to go towards it. There's a language stone down there. Circle around the building a little bit. 
I don't see any say beacon, do you? Uh, there. Okay. E to land. See that shelter over there? We'll go out, we run to the shelter. Search. Using D and the mouse, I'm watching the building to see where the entrance is. You know, I forgot to check what planet this was. Do you see an entrance? It's like I always take the long way around these buildings. Hit W to run there. Search the ammo can. Okay, hit Z, drop the signal booster, use E, triangulate position, and uh, middle mouse wheel to pick that up. Shall we talk to this guy? The life form's eyes widen in surprise when I go talk to talk to them. They lean back and watch for sudden movements. Few must visit their lonely radioactive outposts, and they have clearly never seen anything quite like me before. Friend, Gek Trader. Gek Trader. Friend. I mime that I cannot speak their language, and, increasingly reassured, the beak trader indicates that they are willing to help in exchange for particular elements. They seem to like metals, so I'll give them ferrite dust. The trader looks at me quizzically, evidently deciding I need help. They teach me some of the dialect of their people. Uh, no doubt I will need um, ferrite as I've been giving a lot of it away. E for the telescope. The observatory hums gently as it scans the sky. The trader that manned it was clearly looking for something in the cosmos. And it seems the observatory may have found it. If I can decipher this beacon's code, I may be able to pinpoint its origin. 9183, 1839, 8391. So it, the numbers keep on moving around to the left, and the leftmost goes around to the right. So then it would be 3918. I crack the code and find the location within the depths of space. I got one Gek standing there. Why, I don't know. Did I find anything? I think the game's a little bit behind here, huh? All right, let's head back to the starship. Let's take some uranium. 
We'll need to launch in a minute. And I'm sure we'll be able to use some for launch fuel. Just scanning around the plane for low hanging fruit as far as resources go. Easy, easy stuff. Okay. Now, escape. Let's go to log. I make contact with Artemis, discovering that they are stranded on a sunless world. They asked me to triangulate my position so that we might figure out a path towards meeting. So now I need to return to space and contact Artemis. I'm going to return to space, but I'm going to ignore any communication, head to the space station, and get more tritium while I go, and sell whatever's left. Uh, w to take off. Not enough fuel. I hit tab. Click on it and put the 40 uranium in there. W to launch, head into outer space with the ship key. I circle for the space station because I'm going to get tritium. Space, I'm going to use E to tag it, space bar to go there. When I get past the anomaly, I'll shoot asteroids. Uh, there's one. That's platinum. Shift key to move a little quicker in here. Uh, we need launch fuel also. All right, where is the space station at? And space bar, try and warp to it. I see the blue glow underneath. And in we go. Whoa. I use the W to get close. So we have 345 tritium now. Hit E to analyze the gold nugget. Where's the gold that we got from the gold nugget? Okay, now let's go shift key to run. I'm going to sell the stuff that I shot in the asteroids real quick. So E, um, switch, sell. Let's see, so the tritium hypercluster, uh, six of them for almost 20,000. One Herox for 25,000. 
93 silver for about 17,000. Five platinum for almost 2,500. Switch. Sell the rusted metal. The leftover silicate. Now I'm in the Gex system, so generally I keep, and I'll speak to this. Oh no, I'm he's visited. Let me find a Gek to speak to. The trader wants to make themselves understood. They click their beaks slowly and nod their head encouragingly. Their eyes sparkle in the light. I offer the Gek Relic. Director Hilson Tech accepts my gift with gratitude. And my standing increases by one. Now I request dialect help to the same person. They like trade, so I ask for a trade symbol. And my standing just increased by another one. Okay. Now, now I practice language skills. A happy sound burbles out from director Hilson Tech. They tilt their head listening. I try to think of an appropriate word to say, and I'll say traders, as they like trading. He looks delighted. My vocabulary seems to have exceeded their expectations. They gift me units. I leave. That's 579 units, with my inventory being somewhat cleared. And I'll tell you what, I think this, the next time we will take off and answer the communicator. So thank you for listening.